Hey everyone, welcome to Garden Fork. I'm your host, Eric Rochow. I couldn't pass it up. Neighbor had this out in front of his house and I said, does it work? He goes, yeah, it works. I didn't want to drag it all the way home if it didn't work. I'm like, you, you sure it works? He goes, yeah, it works. So um, he said that the people that had it in their apartment didn't want it anymore. Well, it was in their backyard, not in their apartment. And that's like three, $400. So it's like, well, let's see. So it does work, but it doesn't work. Here's my issue here. You turn this on, press the button, and this flames up, and then it the flame goes out in about 10 seconds. So there's clearly something wrong. It's getting gas, and then it's not getting gas. So the regulator, uh, it regulates the gas flow coming from the tank going into your grill. And sometimes it needs to be reset or replaced. So I'm going to show you a little trick to try and reset the regulator, and that doesn't work. Then you can just go and buy a replacement regulator at your local hardware store, drop it in, and you're ready to go. All right? Watch this little trick, see what happens. So I think the culprit here is the regulator. That's this little gizmo here. Those things die out uh, kind of just whenever they want. Turn the tank valve off and disconnect the regulator from the tank, like that. Now open your hood, turn all your valves to high. Come on. Now, with the valves open and the tank disconnected, you want to wait one minute or a little more than a minute. You can go watch your Labradors play. All right, after a minute or more, turn your valves back off again. Reconnect your tank to the regulator. Regulator and line are connected. This is tight. Now slowly, slowly open up your propane tank. And remember, turn counterclockwise to open up propane tank. What we're doing here is we're resetting the diaphragm in the regulator here. All right, turn your first valve to high. And there you go. So if this reset method doesn't work, it's probably time to replace the regulator. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now, okay? Why do you guys want to go inside? Don't you want to hang out here? So your regulator hose comes away from the tank and goes up and into the grill. And we want to disconnect that hose right here. So use an adjustable wrench, loosen this, this comes off. Use a vice grip style locking plier on the gas pipe that the regulator hose goes into. Uh, just be careful not to torque and twist that too hard and just gentle pressure and take it off. So take your regulator assembly to your local hardware store and see if they have a replacement. You might have to order the replacement online. When you're reconnecting this uh, fitting here, don't use Teflon tape. This is a compression fitting, okay? You don't need Teflon tape or any goop in there. Just go in, hand tight, and then tight a little more. Don't wrench it or you will break it. And use two wrenches, okay? Also, you might need to reset the regulator of the brand new one once you've put it in. So again, go through our little step-by-step -step, like we did previously, and there you go. So, proof here that you can get something to fur free and it works, or if over the winter your gas grill stopped working, uh, don't just throw it out. Take a minute and check it out. Also, in the grill itself, the little burners might be clogged with like spider webs or something. The little nozzles at the end, you could clean out with a pipe cleaner. Check that out as well. And this one, three of the burners worked, one didn't, and I just cleaned out the little nozzle thing at the end of the burner. Boom, it worked.